Hey writers! This video is super special because I'm doing a writing tag that I was tagged in by Bethany Atazada, a writer's significant other tag. And this is my husband, Ben. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> and um, yeah, she came up with a few questions to ask your significant other as a writer. And they're sort of fun, so I'm excited to hear what Ben has to say because he has no idea what they are. And he also has his guitar because um, something about us that you guys have learned over time on this channel is that we love to sing together and some of you have requested to hear us sing a little bit more so we thought it'd be really cool since it's a significant other stag to um, do a song for you at the end. But yeah, let's get into the questions first. So are you ready? Yep. First question. Well, zero. <laughs> Number zero question is, what is your name? My name is Ben. <laughs> Hi, Ben. And what do you think I do as a writer is the first real question. Let's see. Um, lots of brainstorming. Mm -hmm. Questioning your ideas once, <laughs> twice, three times. Yes. More than that. Often with you. <laughs> yeah. Lots of brainstorming. Mm -hmm. um, lots of online meetings with other people. Yes. Super fun. Um, collaborating. Mm -hmm. um, and probably some writing. Probably. Somewhere in there, right? Good, baby. That's pretty good. There's actually um, a whole vlog that I recently did, too, if you guys want to check it out, of what two days in my life looks like as a full-time writer and creative entrepreneur. So if you haven't checked that out, um, I will link that below and in the cards. But great job, baby. Um, number two, you ready? Sure. So um, what's your favorite and least favorite part of me being a writer? So you're Favorite and least favorite part. Yes. <laughs> uh, least favorite part, not being able to know what happens next in your book. Ah. Also, that I get less time with you when I'm home. I'm trying to change that though. I'm working on it. <laughs> What's your favorite part of me being right? My favorite part about you being a writer is that it makes you very happy. Some special things I'm just going to say that I love about him too is that he is one of the sweetest people ever. I love him so much. And he cooks like amazing. Bethany and Mandy were here a few weeks ago and he cooked for them and they can attest that he cooks amazing. And I also get to sing with him and we sing at our church and a bunch of other places, so that's really fun. And he brainstorms with me when I'm stuck on my book and when I have just issues and stuff and he's just really willing to process with me, so it's really, really appreciated. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I signed a document when this all started happening. So. <laughs> you encouraged me, it's your fault. All right, number three, what is your best writing advice? My best writing advice? Yeah, and Ben is not a writer creatively necessarily, even though I think he could be, because he has some really good story ideas when I bounce things off of him. Um, what I am gonna say is that he is amazing at catching errors in books and catching gramma gr grammatical, and catching grammatical things, and I am really terrible at it. So he saves me all the time, and if you, no, I won't say that, I was about to say. <laughs> If they need their book <laughs> proofread, I won't say that. So even though he is not a fiction writer himself, he is very good at sentence structure and different things like that, and spelling and all the things that I lack at. So just in general, just from who you are, what do you think is some writing advice that you would give? Don't write long, long run-on sentences because you lose your reader and they have to read the same sentence about 20 times. Um, Which he has pointed out to me in certain books before. So, yeah, make sure you don't have one sentence that makes up a whole paragraph. Um, <laughs> just, yeah, keep it, keep it simple. Let's see some other writing tips. What's like your favorite thing that when you read a book, like what would make you really excited to read a book? 
You mean like character? Elements? Anything, anything, anything about a book that you're like, oh, I love when a writer does this in their book. It makes me like enjoy the story more. <laughs> when something happens at the midpoint. <laughs> <laughs> He's um, using terminology, I'm teaching him. We actually sit and watch movies now too. And when I feel like things like the midpoint are happening, I ask him, babe, pause right now. And then more times than not, we're like right in the middle of the movie. And I'm like, ah, it's the midpoint. And I get really excited. And then he looks at me, smiles at me, and then turns it back on. So yeah, what gets me really excited as a reader um, probably when the protagonist or somebody you're rooting for, typically if they're, you know, getting beaten down or if they're having like a troubling time and then they reveal some secret power that allows them to overcome their enemies, I guess. Yeah, I like it. Number four, can you describe or sum up the story I'm working on right now? <clears throat> Without spoilers. You know spoilers, no spoilers. It's really basic. Brittany's story is about the world of Phelan, which is the fairy world. That I've created. That she's created. Yeah. And uh, there are a couple different clans, and they're all not getting along well. And uh, out of those clans, there are five teenage fairies that um, are fighting for the crown. Um, like the lion and the unicorn, if anybody knows that reference. I don't. What is this? There's a song. <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, like the lion and the unicorn? Yeah, so my dad used to sing it. It kind of goes like, The lion and the unicorn fighting for the crown. The lion beat the unicorn. I think, dancing round and round. I have no idea what this is, but okay. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, comment below if you have any idea what Ben's talking about. I bet he'll appreciate it because I'm totally drawing a blank, sorry. <laughs> All right, last question, number five. Ready? What is some marketing advice you have for spreading the word about my book? Once I get to the point that Your my book- Your book or people's books? <sighs> Either. These questions are hard, Ben. <laughs> ben likes to think really hard about something before he answers. He thinks before he speaks, which I very much appreciate. Let's see. I would take advantage of all of my author and non-author friends and give them a link to your website for your book mm. and have them spread it all over their social medias. Mm. That's a good one. <laughs> Good job, babe. That's awesome. So those were the five questions that Bethany put together for the Writer's Significant Other tag. And if you would like to do this tag too, I'm going to link the questions down below. But little applause for Ben if you guys enjoyed having him on this video. Then definitely let us know in the comments below. I will tag a few others as well to do this tag and I'll put them right here in the video. But right now, we are going to end this video with a special song that we're gonna to sing together that we do um, at church together that we really love. And yeah, again, this was requested by some of you guys, so hopefully you enjoyed it. If you'd like to see more of us in videos together um, or singing or I don't know, just fun stuff here and there, just let us know. And would you wanna come back on my channel with me sometime? Sure. <laughs> Such a good sport. All right, guys. Well, we hope you enjoy the song Reckless Love, and we'll see you in the next video.
Yes, yes.